Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Ones Upon a Game, and today we're going to look inside the uh, Hell Frozen Over Battle of Attu Island expansion uh, from Lock and Load Tactical. It is an expansion for the Heroes of the Pacific Lock and Load Tactical game. And we're also going to look at the X maps for it. Let's go inside and see what we get first in the base expansion. So the X maps, as you may know, are the larger hex versions. So what's interesting about this expansion and the scenarios that go with it is they have included, go ahead and skip to it there, a single map, single standard uh, war game style map on the very thick cardstock, but instead of having to piece together the modular maps, you get one big, huge honking map. And unfortunately, um, it's going to be less well behaved than even a paper mat, paper map, in the sense that uh, it's, uh, since it's cardboard, it's going to be very hard to train to lay flat, so it's going to need uh, even more of the plexi. So we'll zoom in here on the artwork so you can see it. It's very nice, lots of green. Very, very green. Uh, no water in sight. Obviously got some ridges. Here's an engineer hill on a two island. Okay, and it is single sided. So, like, uh, what was it, Day of Heroes, the uh, Mogadishu map that was one big map? Uh, this they followed suit with this one, so you'll fight all your all of your scenarios will be on this single map. So, try to fold this up. I feel like I'm on a road trip. Stop at the gas station, bought a map. You're gonna get a map. You're gonna get a scenario book. Standard lock and load quality here. It's a. Uh, it's a little stick, a little staticky there from the bag. Okay, and the ads, it's about 36 pages. I'm counting the ads, about 36 pages. Um, looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine scenarios. This is, again, a expansion for Heroes of the Pacific, so you will need to own that to play it. Uh, you got the special rules for the module, special terrain, things like that, cliffs, elevations, Razorbacks. Weather, fog, Willowaz. A Willowa is an elute term describing a sudden cyclone strength wind. These winds blew often and unexpectedly, made air support virtually impossible. At the start of all scenarios, Willowoo level is at zero. Use a coin or counter of your choice to keep track of the Willowoo level on the HFO turn track player aid card. The Willowoo level, Willowa, you said Willowoo, Willowa level, range from zero to three. Activity can never rise higher than three or lower than zero. So at three, it's 45 mile an hour winds. So here's the module rules. Like a little tactical solo, which you can use with this, obviously. And then the different scenarios. Now, here's that since they do give you, even though they give you one big map, for instance, this scenario here uh, has a playable area of 13 through 21 and H through U inclusive. So uh, you're going to use, you're going to put out this big map and then you're only going to use subsections of it. So um, perhaps there's ways to to better better use that uh, map, fold it over, something like that. Not take up quite as much space. It's one of those things you can't win either way. Do the small maps and you have to piece them together. Use a large map and then it takes up too much space. And so now imagine this map 
with larger hexes. So this is a thinner uh, scenario book. It's more of a you know, just a stapled, folded, stapled edge kind of thing. And we've got the El Frozen Over Turn Track Activity Track. There's the Willowa's Rules Reference. There's your Willowa Activity Track. Willowa. It's a word I never knew before. All right, scenario player aid card. Get your train effects charts. Sequence of play. Reminders of the Willowas. Man, what a word. Okay, so in the kit by itself, you're going to get the player aid card, the turn track, the scenario book, and one large map. So that's that. Now, if you add the X maps, which I think are great on the regular. Uh, Lock and load games because they, you know, they give you the, the card, the modular boards, uh, and then you have the uh, uh, larger hexes. So usually you only need to set up one or two of those. This is going to take that big map already, and it's in two maps. So I don't know if these scenarios. Are going to only like use one of the maps with bigger hexes or you're gonna have to always set up the whole thing and it crosses over we'd have to do some research but there's our x maps with the x maps comes your oh, your uh, die roll modification table your ordinance fire table which is actually kind of interesting if they did not include that in the vase game i guess it's just a they just Threw that on the back. We use the same one for Heroes of the Pacific. Let's get that all separate though. Alright, so you're gonna get that. Then you get the oh you get a reprint of the Heroes of the Pacific player aid card, which is the uh, direct fire tables for the Americans and the Japanese. Now it might have been might have been nice, they had this as their ad, and you didn't have to provide this. But it might have been nice if those were opposite. So you only had to have the one card out. Nitpicky, I know, but uh, still having to sort through lots of stacks of paper. Anyway, so there's that. So now 62 becomes 62A and 62B. So 62A is now this beast. I don't even know if I can open it. So it sits portrait style. I'm going to turn it sideways. Just for a... Well, I'll show you, the, show you this one first. Close up. Okay, so there's Engineer Hill we saw before. And all the... It's just larger. But this is a huge map and this is only this is only half of it. So for comparison, here is the original map. Okay. So you can see the hex the hex size difference there. So when you got counters stacked up in here, it's gonna be a lot harder to manage them and then be able to separate them, store them, and then larger hexes. Larger hexes are definitely nice. Don't get me wrong. But I just wonder how unwieldy this is for most wargamers. It says that it sets up to be a 62 inch by uh, 34 inch map. So it is huge. Right, so that's one of them. And then the other one is the same size. And I have nowhere to set it up to show you them both side by side. But you get 62A, 62B, you get a copy of the player aid card, a copy of the uh, direct fire modifier table on the front and back covers. And that is what you get in the X map set. And then in the, uh, we already saw what you'll get in the uh, Hell Frozen Over set. So. If you have room, you might want to pick up this expansion for Heroes of the Pacific. It's Battle of Atu Island, Hell Frozen Over. 
from Lock and Load Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!